Hello. Hello, everyone. I'm back. And I am feeling much, 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 much better. I know you thought I was feeling much better in the uh, previous video or videos. I was feeling better, but now I'm feeling much better. All right. So today we're going to be talking about this Rare Beauty by Selena Gomez. And this is a foundation. And it is in the color 470C. And the topic that we'll be speaking about tonight is masculine men wearing dresses. Yes. Masculine men wearing dresses. So according to Vogue magazine, they put on the front of their magazine a picture of a gentleman by the name of Harry Styles. And he is in a full length dress. Yes, he is. And what they're saying is men can still be menly men and masculine wearing a dress. Now, I'm going to say something. This is very offensive to feminine women as well as feminine men who identify as bi, straight, gay, because bi men and gay men, some of them wear dresses and they identify, they know who they are. And they identify as being feminine. If they wear dresses. At least that's what I've been told. If I'm if I am incorrect, go ahead and make sure you post your comments. Be respectful about them. Okay? Be respectful. I am open for discussion. So right now, I would like for you guys to comment so that I know you are still here. And uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification button. Go ahead and hit that thumbs up, meaning go ahead and give me that like. I'm looking forward to that. Go ahead and do that. All right, so as you see, I applied this foundation throughout my face and a little bit on my neck. And I am going to use this beauty blender. I am going to moisture it. You guys already know by doing this, it just helps you spread the product more evenly, quickly, and flawlessly. You guys like my jewelry? Isn't this beautiful costume jewelry? It's beautiful. Okay. So uh, let's talk about this. Menly men, like I said, wearing dresses is nonsense. I agree with Candace Owens. So Candace Owens a few days ago went live on her Instagram stating how ridiculous This is, okay? I agree with her. I really do. I believe it's just a fad, but we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna continue to read here what I wrote. Candace Owens about Hollywood is a trendsetter and they are most certainly resp responsible for influencing their audience. 
They are responsible for destroying, or shall I say, molding people that may be struggling with their sexual identity. Because they are a major, are major contributors of this, they understand the effects that celebrities have on their fans and that their fans will do whatever to be like who? Their favorite celebrity. We must realize the damage that is it does to those male celebrities as well as their fans that have worn dresses while still attempting to believe they are masculine in dresses. For example, okay, so you guys see how I am going on and I'm blending this in my skin. Now, what I like about this product here is you see, I'm not going to do, well, I am going to do a semi-glam look, but let's say if we stop right here, you could actually end your makeup process if you're just running to the grocery store or you just want a quick, basic look. You really don't need to add any more foundation. This would be enough. But since I'm going for a more glam look, I'm going to add some more. Now, this is not a full coverage foundation. I got to get my nails done tomorrow. You see how my nails are growing? Gosh. You guys know they are really growing out. Just got them done. Okay. So, um, this is... You know, and this product is like for people who have lupus because, you know, Selena Gomez has lupus. And because it um, is very light, it doesn't consist of a lot of work as far as blending. You know, because people that have lupus, they struggle uh, with, you know, their their muscles and all that different stuff. I don't know much about it, but I know that it is a struggle for them. Um, so I'm putting on a second coat only because I'm going full coverage. So that's why I'm putting on a second coat. Make sure I really get in there and Okay, so that's why I'm putting on the second coat. All right, so we are finished with this. And where is my buckets? Oh, man, I didn't get my bucket to put the products in that I'm using. All right, so let's talk about this. Most of you have heard of the famous basketball player slash actor slash, I don't know, he did some other entertainment, Dennis Rodman. So let's talk about Dennis Rodman. Ever since he wore a dress for the first time, his mental and emotional stability ha has, um, hold on, oh, his mental and emotional stability has made his manhood, basically, it's been demonic, okay? He has gone through quite a bit of changes. He is struggling still with his sexuality. Now, don't quote me on this, but allegedly, I don't know if you guys knew this. This is true though. This is true. Dennis Rodman and Madonna dated for a little while. Madonna actually wanted to have Dennis Rodman's baby. Yes, she did. And allegedly, now I don't know if this part is true, but allegedly Dennis uh, Rodman was persuaded by Madonna to wear dresses. So basically Madonna turned him out. Now, I don't know if this is true. This is allegedly. And um, ever since this, 
he hasn't been the same. You know, he struggled with drugs, alcohol. I don't know if he was a domestic, like he's a domestic violence individual. I can't remember. Make sure you guys comment and give me some of the tea if you know more of the facts about this. But I thought I saw years ago that was it his wife, a girlfriend accused him of uh, attacking her physically. So being a abused by him, please comment and let me know. I thought this happened and um, he's just been confused ever since then about his masculinity. It's sad. Now, let's talk about Hollywood. And this is just based on my opinion. Hollywood pushes all of this unethical, un dehumanizing it's okay, do whatever you want, be whatever you want. To their viewers. And I believe it's to, now this is what I believe. I believe it's just to justify all the sick things that occur in Hollywood. We all know what happened to the one gentleman that was in the movie, The Lost Boys. Go check it out. He uh, murdered himself. He was sexually assaulted at a very young age while um, making that movie, Lost Boys. And allegedly, it's by he was assaulted by some famous movie producer who's still in Hollywood. That producer's name has never been spoken. Now, if you guys know this so-called producer that did this, now it happened to him now. Please, please post that movie producer's name or message me privately and let me know so that I will know. I still don't know who that person is. So what I'm saying is this. They come up with all this. It's okay. It's all right. It's okay. Do it. Do it our way. Any day. You know why they do that? So that they don't look like pedophiles. So that they don't look like unclean spirits. So they make themselves appear to be I don't even know what word to say. Okay? It isn't acceptable. Not at all. No. So Hollywood Now I just found this out few weeks ago. Listen to this, everybody. I found out where's my brush? I don't here it is. I found out that there's a lot of women in Hollywood that weren't born as women. And that's fine. I don't have any problems with that. Do not have a problem with it. What I have a problem with is how sometimes the Hollywood influencers force these people to do this. And that's why they really like young child stars. We all know that 
my girl. I know I really like me some Lindsay Lohan. I loved watching Lindsay Lohan. And that poor child. Now it has never come out. She's been through hell. Something, something very suspicious happened to her. Quite daunting happened to her. So, I'm going to stick with the topic, though. No, it is not masculine, and it's just my opinion. For men to wear dresses that identify as masculine men. Let, let's, okay. That identifies as masculine men. Oh, no. There is nothing masking like that. Because let me tell you something. If I am out, and just like Candace Owens said, and she, like she said, if she's out with her children, and some man dressed in a dress wants to come over and save her and her children, like do, do something that a man's supposed to do, she said she is not going to allow that. I'm going to run like fours. Because I know something isn't right. If he's identifying as a masculine man, let's make sure we keep, I need to keep indicating that. If he identifies as a masculine man, no way. <laughs> you better help me. No, not at all. Once again, to each his own. But I had to talk about this. one. So once again, this video is really to focus on how flawless that Rare Beauty product is. Okay. Let's Love you guys, and I will talk to you later. Don't forget to like, share, post your comments. Respectful. And hit the like button. And you all better subscribe. And subscribe. Okay, and everybody, I'm learning a lot. I have been researching how to become a better YouTuber. I finally did download a, a, a uh, what you call it? I can't think of it right now. App. Oh, forgot what app. Yes. All right, guys. I'll see you later. Love ya. Once again, Rare Beauty. Bam, bam. Can you see it? Now, I will list this below and show the picture in the video. Okay, love you guys. Bye-bye.